I'm Laura Glass. I'm the Weatherization Program Manager. And for those of you who might not be familiar with the weatherization programs, we receive our funding from the Department of Community Services and Development through the Department of Health and Human Services on the federal level, as well as funds from the Department of Energy. And we are the programs that go out and weatherize. We also can make the one-time utility payments. So, what we discovered in our county is that the impacts of climate change are hitting our medically vulnerable populations the hardest. So we teamed up with our public health department and the visiting nurses and put a pilot project in place. This was as a result of our climate change vulnerability program that we did in 2015. What we do is we help reduce the energy consumption. We keep homes cooler in the summer, warmer in the winter. We keep out particulate matter and we keep out moisture, which reduces the insects and the mold and other asthma triggers. We were approached by the State Health Department and the Regional Asthma Management Program to put into play a larger program and develop a guidance document for any jurisdiction to put into place. So over a year we have partnered, actually it's been, we're going on our third year now, Originally, when we started, there were cap and trade funds. So clients were referred either to the cap and trade programs or to the lying programs. This is a flow chart of what we developed to make the program work. It was spearheaded by our county health department and our visiting nurses. They're the ones that are out in the homes assessing the medically vulnerable. We went out, we did seven training sessions within the county health system to familiarize all of those people going into the homes with what to look for. We put into their assessment system six questions to determine whether or not someone would be suitable for weatherization. So far, during the first year of the program, we had 32 referrals, 17 different public health nurses were making those referrals, and in that one year period, we were able to complete eight different homes. It doesn't sound like much, but when you're working with medically vulnerable, getting them through the arduous application process and getting them through doing the work. And most of their homes had never been touched by an energy efficiency program. So they required a lot of work. We realized that one of the problems, especially with renters, was getting landlord permission because we cannot enter a home without the owner's permission. And a lot of landlords did not understand that free meant free. And like has been pointed out by several other people, a lot of tenants are afraid they're going to lose their housing if they ask their landlords for anything. So, that's still a roadblock to make this work more efficiently. This is the guidance document that we created. These are all the outreach sources that we utilize. We do a lot of outreach to get the word out to the communities, especially those that have the medically vulnerable populations. 
We're currently working with the Green and Healthy Homes Initiative to try and expand the program to other areas and reaching outside the medically vulnerable. So we are now also trying to focus on asthma because heat truly affects those with asthma. And weatherization, we can provide air conditioning. We can either put in a window unit. We cannot put in central air. But we can, if they have central air, we can repair it. We can replace it. We can seal the home to make it more comfortable, make it safer and healthier for the clients. And in partnership with the visiting nurses, they're providing the health education around the asthma piece. Since we do not provide services in San Mateo County, I reached out to the provider that provides the LAHEEP services for the county, and this is their flyer, and I have left them on the table outside the room. For those of you, I would strongly encourage any of you who are out in the community to make sure that your residents are familiar with the LAHEEP benefits. So, this is my information. This is Michael Kent, who is the person who spearheaded it with the health department and the Regional Asthma Management and Prevention Program. Thank you.